finest magonjwa became Malawi's youngest lawmaker after securing a parliamentary seat in the 2019 elections. She is 28 years old now and has a message for young political aspirants. It's time for us to fight for those positions. We can make it to those positions. Whether you are, uh, like I said, whether you are from DBP, whether you're from MCP, whether you're from any party that you see fit, go for it and go for the bigger positions. Because Senegal has taught us that any position can be achieved by a youth. 35 year old Mami Wogambewa is a young aspirant for a parliamentary seat in the upcoming 2025 elections. He says that financial constraints remain the greatest setback. A bigger challenge that we face as young people is the um, lack of resources. You know, when, whenever people see a politician, they expect that they'll be given something, they'll be given some handouts. So because we don't have money, we don't have other resources, we fail to, to reach out to the electorates properly. So that's a very, very major challenge that uh, we face as young politicians. Malawi's Young Politicians Union is advocating for increased youth participation in politics. It has been lobbying for the reduction of the nomination fees for youth aspirants during the 2025 polls. A lobby that they slashed down the, uh, the uh, nomination fee for award councillors and the members of parliament that are going to be, uh, to be uh, contesting in 2025 so that um, they slash up to 50%. Um, as it is now, they are at 75% uh, nomination fee for everyone who is contesting below uh, 35 years. Political analyst Victor Jibovia has challenged young people to remain proactive in order to increase their representation in politics. Most young people think that it is the responsibility and the duty of the older generation of politicians to give it to the young people. No, it doesn't work that way. It's the young people themselves, they need to stand up to take up those positions. Malawi's national youth policy advocates for 30% youth representation in governance structures. Minister of Youth Uchizim Kadawire admits challenges in meeting this requirement. So it has been more of gender issue than uh, the youth. So we are shifting from that narrative now to start including the youth more, start talking about the youth more, other than just looking at the gender issue. Remote areas will soon become campaign fields for aspirants gearing up for the 2025 general elections. These areas are, however, considered hard to reach by the young candidates who are mostly financially constrained. On the brighter side, young people have a number advantage. They are the country's majority, and with determination, some of them will eventually rise to the top. Chimwebe Padata, VOA News, Lilongwe, Malawi.